You've never heard of Near to There because actually today's our beta launch. The first time we're ever going public with this. And very excited about this. In fact, um, Bob, our CTO, is still putting it up on the, uh, the uh, Android market right now. So I'm very excited to tell you about this. And um, I, if I can be bold enough to say, I believe that within one year, most smartphone users will be using our service or somebody's copy of our service. It's not out there now, but you'll see. Every day we read about places that we want to go and to try. Whether it's a, a great restaurant, a great sushi, or a great place to watch the 49ers game, or a sale at um, Ghirardelli's. There's also things that, like a jazz concert or a gallery opening that, well, if I'm in the area, I'd like to see it. The problem is, when we go out, we forget about those places. Even if we're right nearby, we're going, you go home and you go, geez, I was right by that place. I could have, just could have seen that. And um, even when we do remember those places, we often forget the detail. What was the name again? What was the address? Or even more importantly, why did I want to go to that place again? So now you can click and forget. Near to there is just, uh, it's a share button, just like Facebook's share button or a um, email share button. We're putting it on publications all across um, the, the globe. And what it is is just like those, you click on it, and when you're near to there, it will alert you. It's as simple as that. Near to there remembers all of the places you want to go. So if you're, even if you're not in that area, you can pull it up and say, what was that place? Before I go to the city, what was that restaurant I wanted to check out? Or let's say you're planning a trip to New York City. You can save all those uh, places. We're in discussions with different guidebooks on you know, putting the, our button in their online sites to just say, save that, so that when you're traveling, you don't even have to carry the guidebook with you. It remembers all those places you wanted to go. So our service offering is, uh, first thing, is a smartphone app. We're launching today with Android. It'll be on the Android market um, sometime today, hopefully uh, while I'm talking. Uh, we have the uh, web interface, uh, which is both for creating. You can actually type in your own. Um, you can uh, manage, add notes to things, or delete things. Uh, there's the near to there button, which uh, is a little more complicated than uh, your typical share button, which is sharing just a URL code. This is sharing the physical address. So we're working on different solutions with that, uh, but we've uh, you know, already come up with quite a few. And uh, the final is just a back end to bring it all together. So whatever you put on the web is synced to your phone and vice versa. So you always um, have those together. Another thing that we've added to this is smart proximity. So what is near in a city like, a walking city like San Francisco or New York City is probably five blocks. What's near in you know, a suburban area like Redwood City or a driving city like uh, LA is, is much broader. It's probably five um, miles or, or three to four miles. And that, you know, we've put some smarts in this already, and we're actually planning to continue to work on that to make it very, very smart so it's contextually uh, intelligent. We've uh, started discussions with a lot of publishers. They love this. The reason why is because it actually makes their content much more relevant. What, you know, is better than having a review right when you're at that location? So an example here is 7x7. Seven seven. When they save the reminder, they have a link back to the original article that they read. And for example, here's one at St. Regis, there's an Oktoberfest coming up. And so it just very much takes it back to them. So they don't see us as competition. In fact, they see us as a strong benefit for them. And we've uh, started discussions. We've had discussions with uh, the Chronicle 7x7, Seven Seven, which uh, for those of you who don't know is a local San Francisco uh, city magazine, Time Out New York, Zvents, which has 280 something mag uh, newspapers um, in their uh, portfolio, and then also um, convention um, and uh, visitors bureaus like San Jose, um, Team San Jose. Um, so if you want any uh, more, for more information, you can um, contact me uh, directly at uh, peter at near to there, or go to our website, um, www.neartothere.com. Okay, great, thank you. Okay, the next award was for the most innovative application, and the winner is near to there.